It's only 12.30 at night. Oh, okay. Here we go. I'll stay on for a little bit longer. Okay. <laughs> if you start nodding off, we'll let you go. <laughs> okay. Is everyone glad to be here today? Oh, yes. All right. Now, I didn't have too far to come. I, it took about five, a five-hour drive to get here. I was wondering, did anyone have to fly in here? Okay, we got we got a few people. Okay, and you went through all the security and things like that. Yeah. Any anything eventful? <laughs> Nothing about. Well, I'll tell you what. I have a little story to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> I went on a conference with a coworker of mine, and we had to fly. Going there was no problem. But when we had to go back, now you have to understand we were being. Our expenses were being paid by the company, so he wanted to make sure that we took full advantage of everything that the company had to offer. So he wanted to go to a Chinese buffet. So, and this guy is not real big like me, but he can eat three or four times as much as I can. So, of course, I went along too, and I had plenty to eat. And this made us late to get to the airport, return the rental car, all that sort of stuff. And we were racing to the to get to the gate, and we go to the security place, and you know, I take my shoes off, and I had my laptops, so I had to take it out of the case, and you know, put all this out, and empty the change out of my pockets, and I walk through the little archway, and it goes beep. Well. The guy says, well, maybe your belt buckle is causing it to uh, to beep. Now, I had just lost a lot of weight, so I was wearing pants that were a little bit too big for me. But, of course, I took the belt, took the belt off and put it, and it went through the thing. And, you know, so I go back through the archway, and sure enough, beep. So he says, well, do you have anything else in your pockets? I said, well, I have a pack of gum. He says, well, the foil wrapper of the gum might be what's making it beep. So I put the gum on the thing and let it go through, and I walk through again, and guess what? It beat. So at that point, they tell me, you need to go to that cubicle over there. So I go over to the cu cubicle, and there's footprints on the carpet. And the guy says, well, you got to put your feet on the footprints. So I put my feet on the footprints, and he says, hold your, hold your arms out. <laughs> so I held my arms out, and he says, put your feet back on the prints. And I did that, and he says, hold your arms out. <laughs> well, after a few jumping jacks, the guy says to me, he says, what, what's the problem? I said, my pants are way too big for me. And if I do both, put my feet on the footprints and put my arms out, my pants are going to fall down. Well, he didn't buy that. And apparently, wearing pants that are way too big for you sets off some sort of a trigger. He wanted to know if I had a fake stomach or a pouch. So he puts on some rubber gloves. <laughs> pulls up my shirt and starts going like this onto my stomach. Well, my co-worker just could not leave well enough alone. He thought this was hilarious. So in this cubicle, there's holes about that big. And he's coming up to those cubicles going, Give him a cavity search! Give him a cavity search! Well, the officer, he kind of looks up at me, you know, I'm holding my pants, and I said, listen, if you give me a cavity search, I'm going to ruin your day. <laughs> so he let me go. <laughs> now, is anyone here like Yahtzee? Yeah. I think there's a few of us that like Yahtzee. Well, I play Yahtzee just about every day. In fact, I play it every day. In fact, it's kind of weird, but I play it while I go to the bathroom. I do too, John. I know you do. Is that where you got the idea? No. 
I, I, it was an independent idea. But it's gotten to the point now where I cannot go to the bathroom unless I have my Yahtzee game. So you, you might wonder, well, if you can't go to the bathroom without a Yahtzee game, like when you go out of town or you know stuff like that, what do you do? Well, guess what? <laughs> I carry a Yahtzee game with me. But you might also wonder, well, you know, this is a cheap electronic device. What happens if it goes in the toilet? Breaks or goes into the toilet? Well, I keep that. I keep a spare on hand just in case. You know. <laughs> so, but. Something else I like is going to Walmart. Walmart is a blast. I have so much fun at Walmart because I meet lots of people and that sort of thing. And they have all the stuff you need. Yeah, they do. <laughs> well, I went to go buy a pair of jeans the other day. And when I went in to try them on, a bright idea popped into my head. So I started making grunting sounds. And all the talking in the other stalls went silent. <laughs> and I kept... <clears throat> and you could have heard a pin drop. <laughs> so then I yelled, I can't believe it, this stall doesn't have any toilet paper in it! <laughs> so... And then I just took my jeans and walked out like nothing happened. And all these people were staring at me. So you know what I said to them? Yahtzee! <laughs> so, but, you know, and, and actually before, I, I, I'm going to finish with, uh, you know, some lessons I've learned. But before that, I would like to take a moment. You're crying over there. <laughs> like this. Are you to stay? I would like to take a moment. Yesterday was the one year anniversary of the death of a great American, Michael Jackson. Wouldn't everyone agree? You know, a great American. Well, you know, you really have to hand it to him. He went from being a poor black boy to one of the richest white women in America. So, but what I'd like to finish with, and you know, I haven't flipped any vehicles, I haven't shot anybody, so I don't have like really exciting stories to tell. But what I thought was that I would tell you some lessons that I have learned in my life so far. Wait, wait, move the microphone just a little further away. In no particular order. Okay. Kids, pay attention, you can learn from this. They're all leaving. <laughs> they don't care. Okay. The first one. If you get if you get a penny stuck in your nose, it can be easily removed be easily removed with a pair of needle nose pliers. Number two, it's almost impossible to flush a grapefruit down the toilet. Almost. <laughs> Fortune cookies can be a good source of fiber if you eat the fortune too. Never go to the CVS drive-thru and try to buy a candy bar. The best way to bring alcohol back from Canada is in your body. However, the worst thing to say when you get pulled over by the police is, what's the officer problem? I swear to... I swear to drunk, I'm not gone. <laughs> Raccoons do not like to be peed on between the eyes. Oh. Yes, Remember that's that? true. <laughs> <laughs> they get mad. You know this. <laughs> <laughs> These are real life stories, you know. It never takes. It only takes a spark to get a fire going. But I probably shouldn't say any more than that. No, <laughs> you shouldn't. <laughs> Never say, days later. never say, where's the beef at an Indian restaurant? <laughs> when I do this one, you might be able to use here. 
if you dream if you're dreaming that you're drinking the world's largest largest margarita you might want to wake up and make sure you're not hugging the toilet bowl. <laughs> the plural of y'all is all y'all. Yes. If you step on a scale and it says hi, it's probably not greeting you. <laughs> if I were to get a job at Bed Bath & Beyond, I would want to work in the Beyond department. Beyond door. If you wear a t-shirt that says, I beat anorexia, you may be unexpectedly confronted by the parent of someone who died from anorexia. Oh, no. Not a good thing. If you're going to shoot an alligator, it's best to do it when it is not in the bed of your truck. Especially not over the fuel tank. I have concluded that I am better than Joe because I have surpassed him in all three dimensions. <laughs> 24 hour banking can be very time consuming. When you throw up inside of a car, it is much less of a problem if it is not your car. <laughs> When underwear have been frozen into a solid block, they are di very difficult to put on. It is never a good idea to run the peels from 100 pounds of potatoes continuously down a garbage disposal. Most redneck stories start with the words, Watch this, hold my beer. <laughs> Do not ride a motorcycle in Florida during love bug season. <laughs> there is a maximum weight limit for running boards. <laughs> it can be very messy if you try to heat an unopened can of ravioli in a campfire. <laughs> Throw bullets in. <laughs> yeah, bullets don't work either. If you ever answer a banana in a grocery store, it's always more fun if you hand it to a stranger and say, it's for you. <laughs> hey, Debbie, this one's for you. Working it out with a pencil as a treatment for constipation constipation is just a joke even if you are a mathematician you should always check the height of a bridge before you drive a sailboat under it and no that's not true if you're going to butcher a deer it could be considered santeria if you do it on the third floor or balcony of an apartment in Hialeah Gardens. I'm telling you, you learn these things over time, you know. Reverse is never a good option for a forward moving vehicle. The drive through sign at Taco Bell should really say, drive around. Playing with a stun gun can result in a memory lapse. A large poop can be a noteworthy event. Don't always trust the judgment of a tanning technician when it is your first time ever in a tanning bed. <laughs> Say, <laughs> Saying sorry I had to kill a mosquito is not always an acceptable reason for slapping someone's butt. <laughs> Then they're done. <laughs> when you're teaching your teenager to drive, spitting on the windshield can be very distracting. <laughs> Adding salt to the ice for your beer may not work out how you envisioned it. Adding salt to the ice for your beer oh. may not work out how you envisioned it. It freezes them. Yeah. Hemorrhoid, hemorrhoid cream is a terrible is terrible when used as toothpaste. I would guess that the opposite is equally true.
always make sure that your ladder is not leaning against the branch you are cutting off. <laughs> Tequila and an oxygen acetylene tank are not a good combination. Okay, I, I forget who I said this to earlier, but I said I had a story. Fingernail clippings can be mistaken for shredded coconut. A good knowledge of the local golf course could get you out of a speeding ticket. Sneezing in the shower is never a good idea when you have a bad case of diarrhea. <laughs> Santa Claus cannot fit down every chimney. Washing machines are not meant to be used as a giant salad spinner. But you can process a lot of lettuce that way. You can really startle someone in line at Walmart if you walk, behind, walk up behind them and say, Mardi Gras! Really loud. <laughs> that probably works at other stores, too. The grass is not always greener on the other side of the fence, especially when it is an electric fence. There is a point at a Chinese buffet that they will ask you to leave. <laughs> you cannot always see leprechauns. Homemade root beer can contain a large amount of alcohol. When hearing someone say that they have a Buzz and a Woody, they might just be talking about Toy Story action figures. <laughs> it is easy to lead a horse to water, but it's not so easy to try to teach it to float on its back. We tried, though. So that's what I've learned over the years. And if you remember the last reunion, during the talent show, Melody demonstrated the world's longest burp. Well, I'm here to one-up her. Except I'm going to demonstrate the world's longest stinker. No! I've been, I've been standing up for this. Listen. Make sure, this, make sure this is on tape. I've been saving up for it. Okay, wait. Oh, Yahtzee! Thank you, thank you. Thank you, pal, John.